This Akirakoki coffee mill provides perfect grinding control make fresh coffee for coffee enthusiasts. Enjoy each step of brewing, enjoy the pleasing fragrance, and enjoy starting your day. Operation The portable coffee grinder does not need a battery, power, or long plastic cable, and you can travel with fresh coffee beans on the next camping, hiking, backpacking or outdoor travel. Wonderfully versatile. This grinder will also allow chopping nuts to enhance your salads or create great homemade cookies, chopping herbs, and spices for a fresh addition to your gourmet meals. Porlex Mini Coffee Grinder has ceramic burrs and a stainless steel housing, which not only makes it easy to clean, but more resilient than glass burrs, and produces less static than plastic burrs. The conical ceramic burrs don't rust, are easy to clean and stay sharper for much longer than steel burrs. This compact, easy to assemble slash disassemble, easy to clean, enduring, and sturdy grinder is a must have for those who enjoy freshly brewed coffee anytime anywhere.
So, first things first, you want to take the glass off because we are going to unscrew the dial here all the way. So as if you're making the grind coarser and coarser until this comes off. So you can do it like this, or if you hold the dial with your finger, you need to be careful not to cut your finger on the bird here. If you hold the dial with your finger, then you can turn the handle as well. So it's always good to do this above a flat surface or a table so that nothing rolls away. Um, then you can just lay everything out nicely. So, um, particularly be careful that the washers don't run away. And once you have everything apart and laid out in front of you, then um, I always find it best to clean the grinder just with some brushes, just brush it clean. Um, you can use uh, a dishwasher or you can use soap and water to clean the glass. A brush like the ones uh, that we have here, the number four brush, are perfect for cleaning the bottom of the grinder here, for cleaning the cone and the individual pieces and for cleaning the outer burr and inside something like a bottle brush or an old toothbrush um, is great just to get in there on the three sides of the spindle and get out any old coffee dust that you don't want in there. Um, I always say it's good to clean your grinder once every one or two weeks, um, just keeps everything running smoothly um, and if you're changing coffees and you want to keep it uh, nice and uh, neutral then obviously having a clean grinder is better for that. So putting it back together again. Um, the first thing here is to take your washers. You'll notice, this is very important, that the washers have two different sides. Uh, on one side you have a flat surface and on the other side you have a raised edge. So the raised edge is always in contact with the bearings inside the grinder. So when I put the washer in, which is the first step, I only want to be able to see the flat side facing outwards. Axle, and then the crank. So now um, I can flip the grinder, put that on the table to hold it steady. And again with the washer here, I'm going to put it in so that I can see the flat side. The cone as well. Now with the grinder on the table I can push the cone down into the grinder, hold it with one free hand and then I have a free hand to screw the dial back on. So once that's in place then you're ready to reset your grind and carry on with the next cup of coffee.